All right, hello everyone. Again, good afternoon, good morning, good evening. Uh, it is, I for, forgot what the date is. It's August 18th, 2000. You should sing a song. Good morning, good afternoon. You could do that. You could, you could sing a song. I already owe Wayne M. Chia a bomb song, and I haven't learned yeah, that. Yeah, sing it. Well, I would, I would already know the bomb song if I went and gone to the hospital for this bomb leg. All right. So we just left off um, right, right at about 7 o'clock uh, this morning on paper is when I wrote in the last comment. Oh, wait a minute. Time out. we got to put the brakes on. Every video, I, I always think in the beginning. See? See? It was slacking. Told you I'm not there. Real quick before I start this, if you were just starting this video for the first time, pause it. Go back to part one, and this will run right through it. My phone only records for 33 minutes, so I have to stop it and start a part two. I can't hey, does just... anyone out there know a phone that records more than 33 minutes? I don't know. I don't, know. Curious. I don't even know why. It just stops at 33 minutes, and I have to start it. Anyway, but thanks to all of you. Uh, 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 you keep me motivated to run back, look at the camera, stop it, restart it, and, and keep going again. Right? Yes. So big thank you to all of you for sure. Again, I'm kind of out there, definitely tired, but we're going to nail this. We're going to go. Come on. Go, come on. I feel like I need seven cups of coffee. <laughs> Man. I feel like a train hit me. And then a bus came right behind that with a plane. I forgot where I even left off. Well, we are we uh, just discussed AJ Malfoy in regarding to the racket smashing that Novak Djokovic did how he you know, he doesn't see it as a bad thing. Alright. So right after the Malfoy comment, okay, which again we just talked about in the previous video. I wrote here a note to myself, and I knew I'd be tired. That's why I wrote these notes to myself. And I saw my note, and now I know where we're going. So I wrote, what's next? Let's go. All right? I had to because I was tired then, and I'm still tired. All right, so I said, what's next? Yeah, let's go. I was trying to pump myself up this morning. Uh, Wayne and Chia and AJ Malfoy have brought some big-time comments, right? Yes, they have. Big-time comments. They're both up for comment of the day. Okay. Okay, both of those. However, right, 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 right after I wrote that, Adam West comes in with a topic. Adam West says, should a woman final in a slam be three out of five sets, like mm -hmm. the men in mm -hmm. the final, only for women final match? Read, read it read it louder and slower. Should a woman final in the slam be three out of five set, like the men in the final, only for women final match? You know, I don't think that's a bad idea, Adam West. Uh, I know you're probably surprised by this. Can case. I ask you a question before you respond? Sure. If this is my, I don't, I'm going to let her answer this because she's the female here. Uh, Let's say, and I, we've talked about this kind of sort of before, and I always say, well, it's harder for the woman because they go through some bi biological stuff that's different, and they have to deal with it on, mo on a monthly basis, especially mm -hmm. at that age. Yeah. If, if you went three out of five sets as a female, I'm asking you, if you played yourself, and it was that uh, hard time of the, uh, of the month, the yeah. month for, for you, and you were playing your non-time of the month version of you, who, who would it make any difference? No, I, I've played you before. So, I played you before when but I, I but I understand no. that. But I'm saying if you're playing it, that doesn't well, make any difference. Well, here's why I, I was going to answer this. We've been watching some of these matches. They play two matches in a day, right? Mm -hmm. Well, they're not going to play three out of five during the whole Grand Slam. It's just the final. Yeah, I know. That's that's not going to kill them. It's a that's, pretty good idea. That's not going to make a big difference. Just the final. They can do three out of five in the final. Yeah, I I, I like that idea. That's not a, that's not, a, that's not going to kill any woman. Yeah, I, I like the idea a lot. Uh, what do you guys think? Would you like to see women play three out of five? Might sets give a chance to the underdog. Only in the final, or the more fit one. Yeah. Only in the final, uh, and and women's tournaments. Let's say the let's say the the women's. I think it's premier in the women's, uh, not one thousands, but the well, just the grand slam final. He's saying. Uh, well, they could. Yeah, okay. Well, just, just the grand slam. That that's beautiful. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. It might. Uh, the people that buy the tickets might feel better about paying that much for their ticket, you know? Because sometimes women's matches can end in 15 minutes. Yeah, I, 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 I think it's a great idea. Yeah. Uh, a great idea. However, I would have one problem with this. I'd have one problem with this. You want to hear what it is? If I had to watch three out of five sets... <laughs> Wait, and, then grunting? The, and then the, Well, grunting won, but I can't talk about that. R Rahesh banned me. I'm banned from talking about grunting. So I'm not talking about grunting. Rahesh yeah. likes the noise. So, look, so, so, so I can't talk... I've been banned from talking about grunting. We beat it up too much. So my thing is, if I had to sit and watch five sets, and I had to wait for the coaches to come out and consult, no, players, no coaches, 
I have no coaching on the sidelines. If I'm standing there for three out of five sets and coaches are coming out there for five sets, oh my gosh. No coaches. No coaches allowed. These these girls can think for themselves. They don't really need you. It's like you're babying them and crying. They're crying on your shoulder. No. I mean, I... I Makes I, them look so... Weird. Yeah, I don't, I don't want to talk about that anymore either. We've talked about it so much. Unless, you're, unless you're boxing, unless you're an MMA yeah. fighter go where corner, you go have to go corner. in the corner and you need that because you're getting your, ba- your brains beat in, that's a different story. Yeah, I don't know what that's all about. Uh, I won't get back into that again, but if we're going to go three out of five sets, great. Love it. But let's chill with that coaching stuff because it's just yeah. weak. It's just weak. So uh, that that's a poll question. That's a poll question. Definitely. Yes or no. Would you like to see women go three out of five sets uh, in major finals? If not, why not? If so, why? Well, I guess you wouldn't have to say, you just, yeah, I'm in. But if not, if not, then why? Right. Cool. All right. So I wrote another uh, note to myself under that. Caught up. So I wrote, what's next, right? And I just put a question mark. So it was about 10.50 at this point, and tennis was about to come on, right? So I was fixing to watch the first match, which was, was it Mertens? It was Kvitova. Kvitova and Mertens. Mertens. Yes. Mertens. So I, was, I turned it to our, our, our sports outlet that was fixing to flash on tennis, and I came across something I had never seen before in my entire life. And I want to be respectful, uh, but I don't know how to be completely respectful. Um, I, I, I don't he showed me this when I got back home. So, so he I saved it for me. So, for uh, for me, I, I turn it and I see all this cheer, oh, you know, crowd going, and I'm like, dang, did, did I get, you know, did tennis already start? They start early or something? So I'm seeing a crowd. Well, lo and behold, this 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 game was called cornholing, like corn cornhole, like cornhole, and it, they were cornholing. And there was like this huge venue set up with money at stake, like this big deal thing. And cornholing is where you get a bag and you have someone on the other side with a trough and like a hole in it. You're trying to just ring the hole. And I, I get there's probably skill to it, but holy cow, there was more people at this cornhole tournament than I have seen in the majority of the matches in Cincinnati. I didn't even know there was such a thing. I never heard of cornholing. I mean, no, no offense to the cornholers. I think cornholers are great folks. <laughs> I've never met one. Well, you know what? After looking at this thing, but, uh, I think I can become a pro. Hey, I don't know, man. I'm going to practice all day to just try to get this bag in this hole. But look, I'll tell you I'll what. I'll practice all day. That's easy. Hey, they, they, were, they, were, they were dropping them in a whole lot of holes, though. They were just like, boop, Yeah, boom. but they pra- but, obviously they practiced look, th- look, let's be real here. It took zero physical fitness capabilities. I mean, but yeah. I, I guess that makes it kind of a universal sport. I can't believe people were sitting around watching that. Look, I, I don't want to laugh about it. How did they even, how did no, the, so, I, I, then someone may be cornholer. When I, the lady interviewed them, like, it was a big thing. She said, how do you feel? How do you feel like you finally won one? Yeah, how do you feel that like you just won the cornhole tournament? <laughs> oh, I really worked, I really worked hard. But, but I'm look, like, what did you work hard at? Tossing a... <laughs> <laughs> but no, but look, look. Oh my God. Look, to each his own, I'm sure. No, it's a, they should have a sport then for just like, I don't know, uh, being able to uh, shuffle, uh, uh, a little ball side to side. <laughs> look, I, 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 look I, I, all I know is I've never heard of cornholing. Um, <laughs> so I'm going to put a poll question out there. Are any of you cornholers? Do you like to cornhole? I've never seen such a thing. <laughs> look, wait, and it was on ESPN too. Oh, wait, we should say that name. But, but, but wait, it was on ESPN. Matter. Isn't ESPN a sports channel? Yeah, but. How is this a sport? Can someone explain this to me? Anyway. You don't even run. Yeah, but look. What you do is move your arm. Wait, you have to be respectful in a sense. I can't be because respectful. Because it, it, is, it is a competition. I, I'm just saying. That's I, a, that, that should be a hobby, not a sport. I, I hope we don't have cornhole. I hope we're not disrespecting <laughs> any cornhole. Seriously, seriously. But but they made a competition out of it, so it was cool. But at the same time, I've never really heard of it. And, and I really hope that's not kind of like a trajectory of where U.S. sports are headed. Because well, yeah, I, I didn't see any Europeans. I saw Americans, so. Yeah, I mean, it, it was, it was, it was. I even it thought was, the guy was holding a beer in his hand when I first saw it. I'm like, why is he holding something in his hand? It wasn't a beer; it was like a red bottle. I know, I get that. But no. jeez, you gotta I'm, speak the truth. It wasn't no, beer. I thought it was. As I said, but it wasn't. All right, so. Uh, next, next comment. Yeah, yeah. So, so, so again, for me, it just caught me off guard because I've, I've never, I didn't know that there was more media coverage at a cornholing tournament tennis. than there is at tennis. I thought it was, I thought it was odd. It kind of humbled me for a second, like not in a good way. I was like, dang, really? You know, I think actually in the U.S. they're trying to get rid of tennis and put more pickleball. Oh, oh. Who would have ever thought? Who would have ever thought we have the international cornholing organization? And everybody's going crazy in there. Throwing, They're like, Woo! Just throwing a beanbag in a that's hole. That's it. Yeah. That's it. 
All right, so, um, <laughs> and so, so anyway, about this time in the day, I wrote first match began, and that was between Kvitova and Bertens. First of all, Bertens looks fit. Uh, Kvitova has been very sketchy as of late. I think so sketchy that I don't even think I'm going to pick her on my U.S. Open team. I may pick her, but I'm definitely not picking her to win it. Gee, she can't mentally get through those matches. I mean, she's got somebody first set, bang, wins it. Second set, she can't seem to quite, you know, I don't know. She gets into this, like, low. Yeah, she, she played Mertens. I mentioned this on, on last year. She played Mertens. She, she won five games straight to start up 5-0, then lost five straight games. It was, it was just the streak be a streak fest, and she's luckily, luckily have streaked her way through that match. Yes. So then she gets into it with, with Bertens today. Now, Bertens looks fit. Bertens, I think, has moved up in the rankings, so I still can't grab her unseated. Uh, but Bertens is good, too. Uh, but she's up there. I think Bertens is 14, 15 in the world. or, or some Bertens or Bertens? Well, there's a Bertens and a Bertens, and they both are doing big things. Yeah. yeah. So uh, because of how shaky Kvitov has been, in my opinion, not being able to close the door uh, expeditiously, I think I'm out on her for the U.S. Open. Maybe it even all entirely. depending on how her draw is. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. and, and I wrote here, so many coaching sessions on the court. Uh, the, the coaching sessions on the court, I, I can't stand it. I would be too embarrassed can't if I was one it. of their coaches and, and they're recording me. Don't worry. It's okay. She's going to miss the ball. You just keep hitting. You just keep hitting that ball. Yeah, you just hit harder. But I can't. No, don't worry about it. You can do it. Just hit, just hit it. She's going to miss. I'm like, it's like they're babysitting them or something. I don't know. There was a point in time in this match where Kvitova... Uh, held her serve only once in the span of almost two entire sets. Still find a way. No, she lost to pretend. Still, still, still. I'm sorry. Think about that. Yeah. That's rough. That, that's got to that, that's gotta change. Uh, anyway, so good match. Bertens won that match. Uh, second match that came on today was Chilich versus Djokovic. I'm not going to put a lot of time into this match because it was a typical Chilich Djokovic match. There was nothing new, nothing, no new flash or pizzazz. It was get down and then let's fight it out and let's see what happens. I think Chilich had won the previous two in a row, but uh, again. I, I think it's sad that Chilich didn't win that match because if Chilich wants to win another grand time, he had to beat Djokovic today. I'm sorry. He just had to. He can't beat these big guys. He cried at Wimbledon. He lost in Nadal and he loses to Djokovic. So look, uh, ultimately Djokovic won it in, in three sets, and, and, it, and, it, and it was a good match, nonetheless. Uh, I like Chilich a lot, and you obviously know I like Djokovic a lot. I, I don't Again, like I, Chilich. I, I don't enjoy watching I, him at all. I, 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 like, I like his demeanor. He, he seems to be a good guy. Never had any problems. He's had a couple injuries, nonetheless. But I don't think he's uh, a bad guy off court. I mean, I'm a, I'm a better fan. I don't think he's a bad, bad guy at all. You know, I just don't enjoy watching him. So, ultimately, Djokovic won the match, uh, so that means that Bertens, I mean, Djokovic will play Federer tomorrow in a much-anticipated final. Uh, that should be fun, and Bertens, and I haven't gotten to the women's winner yet, but we'll talk about that as well. Uh, what are we at? 13 minutes. All right. So, we're, we're, we're not far off, actually. Well, we still have some more comments. Yeah, so I know we're going to get to those. So I wrote in here at the bottom that Jonathan commented about breaking a racket, and we already read that, right? Yes, you, you said that Federer uh, did break yeah. and Nadal you've yeah. never seen. Federer smashed and racks, and Nadal supposedly has not. That's good. Um, all right, so moving forward, uh, again, if, if this show is not as um, organized as, as, as those prior to all of them, excuse me. Uh, again, I just started uh, the you writing. Know, I actually like your format like this better instead of um, it's kind of just jumping all over the place. I, I like instead of set comments, and result, comment, comment. and then done. Yeah, I like it's this just kind of everywhere. I, I like this. All right, so I stumbled across this is a breaking news story. I came across an article today. My last name is Davis, so I've always, for some reason, if I hear Davis Cup, uh, I've always uh, just kind of looked into it. You know, I, I, I don't follow a lot of Davis, Davis Cup. I, I've been to four different Davis Cup events, so let me put this into perspective. Uh, I have been to four Davis Cup events, uh, but in terms of how the business side of it works, where you play, how they ultimately score it for the champions, and, and how that goes down, I know they travel and so forth. So I read an article today that the Davis Cup, as of what, today, a week ago, whatever, I know Federer was talking about it, uh, times have changed completely. So instead of the Davis Cup teams traveling, moving around, boom, 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 ultimately to meet somewhere at the end of the year, two of them, in November, every year from now on, 18 countries will meet. And in that one area, one arena, those 18 teams during that week will fight it out for a champion. 
I think it will have pros and cons. Now, look, I have to say I don't know the answer to this or whether it's a good thing or a bad thing because even though I know what Davis Cup is, my last name's Davis, I've been to four of these events, I don't take it as deep as running – like I don't break the Davis Cup brackets down like I do for you guys for this stuff. I just I, – but I, maybe now we'll be able to because it's like a tournament, right? Well, I know – Okay, again, I don't follow Davis Cup too much, but from what I know, it's a big thing for some players. It's, it's huge. It's a huge thing for some of the countries. I don't know that it's as it's huge. A, it's a national pride. I don't thing. know if it's as huge as the Americans because that they really don't have that many great players. But Sometimes they squeak out. See, the Americans win Davis Cup sometimes, even without players, because they have more players that are just good. Okay. Most players have one beast, one well, good I, person, and five. But I know, though, a lot, of play, a lot of the top players can't play because the schedule is so busy. So maybe... Maybe what they're trying to do is get those bigger, the top-ranked players to play in the Davis Cup by making it short in one week. Yeah, so... But they're going to lose a lot of revenue because the reason they, they probably made money, you know, these different countries playing at different venues. Well, I think one of the problematic things for Davis Cup and why this might help the intensity of it is because if you have a player, let's say, let's say Djokovic right now, fixing to go into the U.S. Open, fixing to have a final tomorrow against Federer, and lo and behold, on Tuesday, before the U.S. Open started... Uh, he had to go play um, a Davis Cup match. Mm -hmm. It puts a lot of stress on the body. Uh, a little bit later, I think someone made a comment of, about the calendar year and, and how if, if it was, I think Kiyosama asked Carl and I, I think, that if we were to reduce the tennis season, uh, how, what, what tournaments would we take out? How would we do that? And I'm going to have to think about that. And, and I hadn't even gotten to that. I just, I just remembered it. Um, but Davis Cup. I take out the ATP Finals. Well, that that's that's a, a huge purse there. Right, so there it's hard, and that that's a round robin format. There's no big deal. You should take out the next gym final. But not, I don't like round robin for professional players. That's not the short in the calendar. You couldn't. Why would you even take well, that? They, they, the but these event. guys prepare for the end of the year, right? That, that's their goal. That's why they want to be number one. What to make a couple millions? Just to make a couple million. That's a lot of money. Not for some players. Okay, you. I'm totally disagree with you there. That would be the worst. That'd be the worst tournament. Remember, they worked their butts off to go to a beautiful indoor court in London, and I think they they might. Didn't they play in Ch Shanghai last time? I don't recall, but it's a beautiful indoor place. Wherever they go, and they get spoiled. That's that, that's that's trivial. I would remove. I, I, if if I was going to shorten the season, I think I would. I wouldn't. I wouldn't do anything with the tournament. I wouldn't pull tournaments. I mean, those, those towns thrive on that stuff. I would add more points to certain tournaments. Like I might make it an ATP fifteen hundred instead of one thousand. And then make some of the other tournament points go lower. See, these these people play all these tournaments because they're they're racing to the top, so they can go, so they can go but to the to the championship. Well, I understand that, but but they're having to play all these tournaments because they want to build their points up. Well, well perhaps they pick less tournaments if there was more points to give out, and then and scattered the. I mean, in other words, making a marginal difference. Yeah, where they can make more points, sure. So I don't know. I, I mean, I think we had, we had we, to we, me, clay season is long. We hadn't even gotten to this question, and we're already on it. Okay, well let's well let's get to the next thing. All right, so again, uh, we just jumped ahead like a page uh, because I thought about it. But again, Davis Cup. Does anyone have any feedback on Davis Cup? Is anybody hardcore Davis Cup follower that brings pride into it, uh, gets into the chanting, really has a good time with it, and follows Davis Cup? Is this in the best interest of the players, coaches, and fans, or is it not? Should it stay the old way? I mean, it's changed. It's changed. Yeah, it's changed. It's done. But is it good or bad? Comment on it. Let me know. I'm interested. Highly interested. All right, so I wrote here, next match. That would have been Halep versus Sabalenka. U.S. Open alert for both players. Not winning, but second week. Halep took, looks wonderful. She's in shape. Uh, from the first few games that I saw Sabalenka, Sabalenka was hitting hard, and Halep just got to almost everything. You know, I told him, she's like, ooh, look at Sabalenka. She's a beast. She's tall. She's strong. I told him, I said, with that big loopy forehand that she has, there's no way you can be consistent. She's definitely no Serena, and I told him she's going to lose. She just can't be consistent with somebody who's going to return the ball a lot. Nevertheless, it was still a good match to watch. I enjoyed the match through and through. I, I watched all of these matches today, every one of them. Um, Halep has been rolling along for a, a little while now. Unbelievable, that, the shape that she's in. Yeah, I mean, she, she's, she's a little wow. quieter. Um, Sabalenka is amazing too, um, but her her susceptibility to consistency 
kind of showed. Now she, I think she took out Kanta in like the first round. She beat uh, who did she beat? Yeah, I mean she beat some quality players the whole way through. And I and I should have written this down, but I didn't. But she's re- beaten three really good players in three sets to get to this point. So great job for Sabalenka, by the way. Mm-hmm. Sabalenka, well, she's not gonna well, win. Well, she beat Keys. Yeah, she beat Keys. Keys. So she, I mean, she's not gonna win the U.S. Open, obviously, but she could make a second week. She was 34 in the world, I think, before this tournament started. I know she's got to have jumped up now. Well, so. it's good for Salanka because she, she is 20 years old, so she is the future of tennis. Yeah, I mean, she's in that group that would be comparable to, you know, those Vevrevs and the Korches. Mm-hmm. I mean, she's in that same. So she's still real young. So sabalenka has got promise. She's 5'11", strong girl, um, and, and I think we still see big things from her. But Halep's just too much uh, right now for, I think, pretty much anybody. She looked great. All right, so, um, yeah, after that, I was caught up, and I wrote here next match again. So we didn't have any comments between during that match. So uh, I had a big space here, and I just put Federer and Goff in. Mm-hmm. So uh, Federer and Goff in, we, we know who won. Yeah, Federer won. So, two sets. So I had tinkered around in my mind during this match that I wouldn't be surprised if Federer lost this match. The only reason why I thought it might be a lackluster performance, not necessarily saying purposely, but I don't know if I like the fact, again, I'm a Federer fan, just saying. Uh, I like Djokovic too, but if they play, I'm all Federer. So if I'm Federer, I don't know if I would want to expose. Now, they, they haven't played in a while, right? No, it's, they it's haven't. Been, it's been a, they been a while. Been a while yeah. So if I am Federer, I don't want Djokovic getting that career all ATP 1000 Masters. I think Federer wants to try to stop that. I think so too. So so that would be the only reason why I think uh, that he made that that he did not lose today and I'll explain. I think he wants to stop that record because he, he he started to lose all these records. He may lose the 20 to Nadal if Nadal sticks around for five. And who, would, who would ever thought, right? Yeah, who would have thought? So I don't know if I would have uh, voluntarily uh, not thought or not have thought about Dropping that match, not not just being. I mean, in other words, not putting everything into it because I would want Djokovic to see me for the first time in a long time if that were to happen at the U.S. Open. And I don't think he wants him to win Cincinnati. I think that's why. Yeah, I, I think he, you know, he got through his match relatively quickly. Yeah, he did. with with Goffin, yeah. uh, and now he'll play Djokovic tomorrow. I, I I think if it weren't for Djokovic trying to get all of the one thousands, I think maybe Federer would have lost today. Uh, I don't think Federer can be too happy about playing Djokovic tomorrow. Not from a fitness standpoint, he'll recover in a week no matter what. Uh, but I, I'm sure that there's parts of his game that he doesn't want to expose, different shots that he's been working on that he'll have to pull out of the bag. And, and win or lose tomorrow for Djokovic, it's a win. Because if Federer wins tomorrow, it's still a win for Djokovic. Because Djokovic is going to get his mind set to remember Roger's tricks. You know what I'm saying? Okay. So that's why I thought that's why I thought Federer would would would, uh, would pass up the final against Djokovic and, and keep his game tight and, and and sealed up until the the potential meeting between the two there. Okay, didn't work out that way though. No, didn't work out that way. He, he, he destroyed him. So uh, right right during this this uh, match was an evening match, so I kind of left it blank. And that's why I, I just remembered I did that. But during this point in time, during the Halep Sabalenka match, Dave Rains from Cincinnati, who's in Cincinnati. Brought us a comment. Hey, Dave. Hope you're doing well. Uh, I agree with Justin. Next Gen is like the kids' table at Thanksgiving. Thanks for, thanks for another great show. <laughs> I like that. Yeah. I mean, he's right. Where, where, where was it? I agree with Justin. Next Gen is like kids oh, at yeah, Thanksgiving. Yeah. Were you not paying attention? <laughs> no, I, I was, but I was trying to figure out what my words are here down the bottom. Again, uh, uh, mucho apologies. We're, we're lacking sleep, so we're trying to get through this. Um, yeah. <laughs> so I am. <laughs> I'm like almost delirious. I'm, yeah, I'm like seeing double right now, actually, yeah. really. But he, he's got a point. It's like you know, the yeah. kids at Thanksgiving. I, I mean, mean we, there's no point of it. This next generation thing. Yeah. He, he, by the way, Dave's in Cincinnati. He brought, uh, uh, came down, hit with us, played some tennis with us. Uh, great family, a heck of a good tennis player, and brought us all Western and Southern financial hats and tennis balls and so forth. So. Great comment, comment, and I definitely agree with you, Dave, that the next gen stuff. I don't even like saying the name because it sounds so cheesy. You know so what I mean? Cliche, no. So, 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 uh, right here, I have written that that was the last comment. But then you told me, said, wait a minute, Kiyosama came in. Well, and made Rahesh a comment. too. He said in a recent interview, he said he liked it. So I guess he just decided to pop that in. What? 
Rahesh made a comment in a recent interview. He said he liked it. Who like what? Jokovic about the time clock. I guess he forgot to mention that in his earlier comments, so he commented later on. Okay, so Rahesh just jumped in mm -hmm. and said that Djokovic is, a, is is in favor of the shot yes, clock. Yes, yes, correct. All right, so where is Kia Sama's comment? She wrote a comment. She said, I also agree with keeping the ATP 1000s plus Grand Slam in the current format. Just look at this week along with players having two of three matches within a 24-hour window. If this is the best of five all the way around, I doubt any player will be left to even play the U.S. Open, and there'll be so many injuries. It's ridiculous, which actually brings me to another topic you guys touch, the length of the season. If either of you want to make it to, if, if either of you want, was made at the ATP WTA commissioner, how would you go about shortening the season? What events would you keep? Grand Slams, of course, but regarding the others, what, what takes priority and which ones get kicked out? Ha, and yes, I second the motion about the next gen and the ATP finals. Not worth it. So, so she agrees with me on the ATP Finals, not worth it. It's not. That only eight qualify or ten qualify, whatever it is, to me it's a joke. All right, for, for this for this question here. And I think we answered some of it earlier. Yeah, we just got into the conversation. I didn't mean to get into, get into it prelimin preliminarily. So I, I don't know the answer to this question. Uh, I have been, I, I now I'm going to take it head on though. Uh, and, and look into it. So the hypothetical question is if, if Carla and I were, were the powers to be in terms of making the season shorter uh, or more um, beneficial to the body and everybody else involved, coaches, trainers, uh, hitting partners, uh, you name it, parents, whatever it is, I would have to stop for a second and think on that. That's a really deep question. I don't know if pulling, the tur pulling tournaments out would, would be a, I, mean, I don't think you could even do that. I think BNB Paribas puts on some. I think these, these organizations have contracts to put the tournaments on. I think um, there has been a contract, contractual period not, not terribly long ago where some company signed a contract for $40 billion uh, over six years to have XYZ amount of tennis tournaments and with, with the top players and so forth, and then the contract fell through. I think that was a Davis Cup thing or something. You know, to me, I think they should end the season after the US Open. So, so well, there should be done. There's China after that. Not many people go, and then you got the ATP finals. Anyway, I I, I wrote here to the answer to this. It, it, what will we do to shorten the season? That's a really deep question. Thank you, Kaya. I, I'm gonna think about it and turn that into a topic in of itself. Uh, I don't want to shoot from the hip on that question because calling call, calling it out. Hey, if you were, in other words, you 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 are asking us, what would we do, given that we do. Tennis talk every day, research it. Why yeah, don't, something why, we gotta do. Our research. Why, why don't Why don't we spend maybe five or ten minutes a day for however many uh, bit a day, so we can have a credible response, a credible response on how we would shorten the season. Personally, I don't really terribly think it's that long. I mean, it's long; it's all year round, basically. Uh, but the, can you name players that basically became number one in the world simply because there were so many tournaments and they played Wasniaki. all of them? Wozniacki, Marcelo Rios. Safina. What about Marcelo Rios? Safina was another. Safina one. was another one. Halep at one point. Was Halep, at, Halep at one point. Yeah. So all, all, all I'm getting at is, is a lot of these players go to all these tournaments simply to try to win money for their for their pockets, which they have to have, and then two because they're trying to get the benefit of being number one in the world, which is respectable. Uh, but with that said, it's kind of hard to for me to sit here and try to figure out on on the fly uh, how to make the season shorter and everyone happy at the same time. Let me think on that one. We're at 28 minutes. All right, so we got to roll. So great that look. Uh, oh, she made one more comment. I guess that uh, popped in. All right, go ahead. And I'll read it quickly. She said, "Oh, Djokovic stresses me out watching him. All the mounting errors are aggravating. Yes, these are matches that he usually takes two sets, aka Dimitrov and Rayne." The Chilic match was no better, but he's through, which is a testament to the fighting spirit we fans admire. I'm thinking Federer will blow golfing off the court, but here's hoping but here's hoping it's a good match all around. As for women, I hope Kavitova take, makes a comeback, but Burton's has looked good. Halep, very impressive. Should be a good finals between these two. So here's to a good Sunday final. And please, Nola, get rid of your yips and plays while we can, while we know you can. Now that's now that's hidden reading this. Okay, well there's more, but I think thanks again for the great discussion. So how much time did you say it was? 20, it should be twenty nine now. All right, 30. so we got we got to roll. I don't want to go part three. I was on my last page anyway. That's a great comment. I, I should just write those long ones, not towards a. Uh, uh, but I mean, we saw the match and we said the results. And yeah. This was before the matches ended, yeah. and so yes, uh, Federer beat golfing. 
Yeah, and, and, and I might throw that in, into tomorrow's show just okay. to get down it because she, she does such great things and I didn't know that was even there. Uh, so I, I kind of feel bad that we even mentioned it because I wasn't prepared so for it. So who's coming today? Um, see, that, 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 yeah, remind me to put that I'll in. Put that I, I have, I'll remind you. I haven't even read that. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Totally sorry. Um, I'm going to give that there was two people that I had. AJ, up, Malfoy. AJ Malfoy and YM Chia. There was two of them. Mm -hmm. So... Uh, Malfoy's comment was deep, so I gave him like two points the for it. smashing, yeah. Right? Um, but Wayne M. Chia had like four different points. Yeah, he kept, he talked so, about so the next I, generation. I, I figure you have one that got two points, and then you have maybe one point from Wayne M. and another one point from Wayne M., and that kind of cancels them out. But then Wayne M. got one more point and another more point. So I give topic or comments of the day to Wayne M. Chia. Okay. Well deserved. Well played. So, I mean, you battled off, you got to a third set, and then uh, Chia, because of a few little extra shots, uh, won the breaker, won the tie break. All right? So, let's go! So tomorrow should be a good match against um, Federer and Djokovic and Halep against Bertens. Okay, we're at third, we got like two minutes. Two minutes. It's been a great show. Sorry for everywhere, by the way, but uh, as soon as this is done, I'm going to download it and I'm crashing. So, um, so finals tomorrow, Bertens versus Halep. Who you got? Halep. Halep. Uh, we got Djokovic and Federer. Who you got? Federer, of course. I want Federer to win, but I think Djokovic will win. Um, dark horses. Uh, are there any dark horses? I've mentioned Dick Goffin. Uh, any dark horses anybody can, can bring up for the U.S. Open. Maybe unseeds, people you would never guess. Who, who are those people? Um, uh, da, 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 da. Oh, poll question. Don't forget the poll question. Do you prefer, Would you like to see women play three out of five sets in all Grand Slam major finals? Yes or no? Poll question. Let's check out the percentages. Uh, so that's it, everyone. Um, hopefully this was okay. I spent all day writing it. Let, let me know if you like it better, kind of clustered together, just throwing out stuff. Or if you like it where I just write it at the end of the day and do introduction, viewer comments, couple results. and then So systematic or chaotic, right? Mm-hmm. Anyway, click, like, share, and as Carl always says, Adios. See ya. Buenas noches.